I'm Raghu. I work with Yostory.in as an editor. Uh, what I'm going to talk about has nothing to do with what I work on. But yeah, a bit to do with what I work on. I write about mobility in cloud uh, startups. Just a bit about Yostory.in. We are, if you, there are a couple of us in the crowd right now. If you ask each one of them, they'll give you slightly varying variants of what we do. But at the end of the day, we are about these guys, entrepreneurs. We write about them, you know, we understand them, we write about what they do, and basically everything about, around entrepreneurs. It is, for all the entrepreneurs out there, it's your story that we write about. We're about stories. I, I'm, assume, I'm, I'm hoping that this session will be a lot of just storytelling between each other. I'll tell you some stories. If you relate to it, you can tell me some stories. Just make it interactive. You get it, right? So cool. Just before we move on to the next one. OK, he's moved on to the next one. So show of hands, how many entrepreneurs here? One, two, three, that's it? OK, how many entrepreneurs here? OK, that's a little more. Cool. So we work in this business where we talk to entrepreneurs. Uh, we get what they say and you know we use their answers as part of our content just to know a little bit about themselves uh, you want the next one dude <laughs> you know it's a sad truth entrepreneurs are really vain people you know they really really care about what the outside world thinks about themselves and uh, some of that translates to when we speak to them uh, they want the best answers out you know they're not going to give you something they're not going to give you the truth always Okay, 60% of it is truth, 40% of it is marketing, PR, uh, just, just good looks, okay? So yeah, we're very vain people. And one question that I've asked, and I personally had the privilege of covering over 150 entrepreneurs. One question I've asked almost every one of them is, why did you start up? It's fascinating, right? Why, at the end of the day, you get the money, you're going to get the money in a job, you're going to get the money doing whatever. Why did you choose to be an entrepreneur? It's not the most easiest way of life, as some of the entrepreneurs know, uh, here will, will, will tell me, right? It's hard work. In fact, uh, an entrepreneur that I really look up to, Games to Win, Alok Kejriwal, has this very interesting, <laughs> very, very interesting definition of entrepreneurship. He's like, entrepreneurship is great. You can choose which 24 hours of the work, uh, which 24 hours of the day you want to work. So. You know, it's, it is hard work. Why would you do that to yourself? Okay, that's the first question that I, I, I asked these guys. So they gave us a lot of answers and we've kind of put them together. This is uh, almost a five, six month long research, qualitatively talking to people through our interviews. It wasn't meant for the research, but this is a derivative. So what we got out of this was four main reasons. And this is my hypothesis. It doesn't have to be right. It's not universal. This is my hypothesis. And I feel that there are four main reasons why people, people become entrepreneurs. Right? These are four main reasons which encompass a large number of things. And personally, I really couldn't find any other reason why they do it. OK? So reason number one, ego. Do you agree entrepreneurs are egoistic? Yeah, narcissists? Most of them. You, I know you're a narcissist. <laughs> but no, just kidding, he's a really good friend. That's why I'm taking that privilege with him. So the truth of the matter is, you know, ego comes from the, the root meaning of ego is in Greek, and it means I, me, individuality. Okay, it's not a negative thing as most of you think it is. Okay, it's a, it's a very nice thing to have. If you don't have an ego, you have problems. Okay? In the case of an entrepreneur, there's a little more of it. <laughs> so it's about standing apart, right? I want to be known. I want to be, you know, in the limelight. I want people to know that, you know, I am an entrepreneur. I'm doing cool stuff, right? And, and that's an enviable thing to have. That's, that's agreeable, right? How many of you think that's positive? Just a few? What about the others? OK, cool. It is a positive thing as far as I'm concerned. OK, it's good. You know, these people are doing, working their backs off. They deserve to be recognized. So ego is a good thing. Some observations that I've seen is that this is the reason why people start up the most. 
Okay, you ask anybody why are you becoming an entrepreneur? The first thing they would say is, "I want to do something of my own. I want to start up. I want to be at the top of the food chain. You know, I th this is what I I don't want to work for anybody else. Freedom, freedom is a big word that people use, right? And when they say freedom, I remember this guy. How many of you have seen the movie Avengers? Quite a lot. Cool. Very popular movie. I've seen it multiple times. Anyway, so there is a scene where Loki goes in Germany and he subjugates a large crowd of people, right? And he says, "Is this not your natural state, right? Doesn't mankind crave for subjugation?" It's all big words. I don't agree for most of it, most of what he says, but he, there is something. There is some some truth to it. You're never free, right? You're never really free. you are answering to somebody or the other every single day of your life right in a in a job you're going to be answering to your boss uh your boss's boss your boss's 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 boss and as an entrepreneur you're going to be answering to your customers right you are answerable to somebody and you are restricted and constrained by them okay freedom is a myth and if you're doing nothing you have to answer to your partner wife girlfriend anyone married people will <laughs> agree with this but again entrepreneurs who have started off in this region what we have seen is that they make really good consultants okay they make they make really really top class consultants uh they are celebrity entrepreneurs what i mean by celebrity entrepreneurs is that they are known for themselves more than what they do how many such entrepreneurs do you know you know they you will identify with that person more than the job that they do okay and these are the people who start up for the reason of ego will come in from here the great leadership qualities in fact if you take these guys and put them on the top of a corporate they will inspire like nobody else okay they will have people under them who will die for them they'll work on weekends saturdays what not okay great leadership qualities they'll be public figures they'll be caught to speak and all that stuff so on that i want to come to the first story that i want to share with you guys right uh I in, I had the chance to interview somebody very very recently I'm not going to name him um and he was petrified about the fact that he would he would die unnoticed he was literally petrified he was and I could see he and again he's an entrepreneur he's going to give you the right thing but that first few seconds of that conversation he said I don't want to die unnoticed right and you could hear it in I could hear it in his voice that it was a driver it drove him every day to work himself out burn him day in and day out and i feel you know people driven by ego will relate to this how many people relate to this i don't want to die unnoticed quite a lot great that's my first story reason number 1 was ego reason number 2 i think those that's that's like a big ass word right material objectivity but what it really means is that yeah money money is your bottom line in a business how many people disagree good you are listening so <laughs> money is the bottom line of a business right if your business isn't returning any more than 20% then don't do it put that money in a fixed deposit you'll get more stuff or whatever right you are an, you, you are answerable to that bottom line unless you are a social venture okay we'll get to that in a bit what we have noticed is that the most successful entrepreneurs and by success i mean money right the guys with who made the fortunes who made the millions who drive the bentley today are the guys who have been objective about this he said i'm going to take this much of my time i'm going to take this much of my money and i'm going to put it into this so that 5 years later i'm going to get this much more from it isn't that a very objective way of starting a business yeah agree guys please we all just came off a drink of coffee man <laughs> we a little away <laughs> so yeah this for me is you know i have found the most successful entrepreneurs come out of this how many of you have heard of ravi guru raj no oh, there's one two three i counted you 
So Ravi Guru Raj is by far one of the most prolific entrepreneurs that I have ever met. Okay, he's amazing. He started a company and from '91 made that big, sold it, took that money, put it into another company, made it big, until where he could afford five million dollars to put in another company, sold it to Citrix for forty million dollars. And you know what? He's starting up again. Okay, this guy is the bomb. So that's the successful. Uh, part. Also, the most number of unsuccessful entrepreneurs also come from this place. Okay, so there's very thin line between objectivity and blindedness. Okay, so money is important, but to get to that, you need to do a lot of things around it, right? To a lot of guys, they look at the short-term money, money here, money in the next step, money in the next step, and soon you lose sight of why you're doing it. Okay, the process that will make you money is lost. And so most of your failures also come from here. Okay? Story number two. How many of you have heard of the company MicroQual? Anyone? No? Great. So, <laughs> I didn't expect it either. MicroQual is a company that provides services for antenna companies. Every communication device in your pocket, in your laptop, in the Wi-Fi system here has a MicroQual device and most probably does. Okay, the story which I want to share here is of that founders, Mahesh Chaudhary. Go look him up. Very interesting guy. If you ever have the chance to bump into him, eat his brains. Okay, you'll really, really learn a lot. And here's the interesting part. So he said, my father was a villager, okay, who knew that mixing color X and color Y will give me color Z. And he started a successful dye business. If he could do that, I can do 10x of that. And you know what the best part is? Mahesh Chaudhary is a commerce graduate. He knows nothing about antennas. Okay? <laughs> so, the possibilities of entrepreneurs that come out of here are the serial ones, right? Guys who start company after company after company after company. Why are they doing it? Returns at the end of it. I want a large chunk of money coming, out, coming at the end of it, right? They are the guys talking about exits. They are the guys talking about profit and loss. They are the guys talking about raising the next million dollar funding. Get it? And if you notice, a lot of these entrepreneurs are also becoming venture capitalists. Because when you work so long with money being your main objective, right? You know pretty much exactly how it works. Correct? And, and who better a fit to be a venture capitalist than this? Right? So let's just take a break there, you guys, with me. You want more, or should I stop for questions? No? Should I go on? Great, awesome. Passion, how many of you relate to this word? Great, what does it mean? Okay, next. Huh? Love, close enough. Okay. The intense urge to do something. Okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay. It is love. Like he, he pointed it out in the best thing. Everybody has to do something in their life. And it's that one thing that you just love to do. Okay. And it does not have to be a glamorous activity. It can be cooking. It can be cleaning. Okay. It can be playing a musical instrument. You just love doing that, right? And the entrepreneurs that come out of there start here. Somebody sitting in an office like this saying, damn, I'm frustrated with my life. Okay? I want to quit. I don't want to meet the next deadline. I really can't give. Sorry. So yeah. Okay? The truth is, he wants to do something else. He wants to enjoy doing something else. He doesn't care about the money. Hiller doesn't care about anything. Out of, and I mean he doesn't care about the money. Okay? This is not Apple passion, where you sell a device for a gazillion dollars. This is real passion. He's like, I just want to do my thing. You want to enjoy it? Please do. If you don't want to enjoy it, I don't care. Right? So these are the guys who do something you love. There was this very interesting video on Facebook, if you guys remember, where they compared the brain of a man in love and a brain of a man on cocaine. It was exactly the same. Okay? Love is a 
लव इज अ ड्रग मैन लव इज एन एप्सल्यूट ड्रग ओके एंड इट्स बायोलॉजिकली प्रूव एन आई एम नॉट जस्ट गिविंग यू हॉट एयर राइट नाउ वेन यू आर इन लव यू एक्चुअली यू नो ब्रेन सेक्रीट सेरेटोन इन यू हैव एंड ऑर फीन रनिंग ऑल ओवर योर बॉडी यू टेक and that's why you know failure doesn't seem like a big deal to you that's why uh, you know uh, hurt you take hurts very easily you appreciate the little things you do stupid things which you won't do otherwise right love really is a drug at the end of it and these guys are the ones who who live off that drug they they, they thrive off it they're addicted okay they're perfectionists how many developers in this room my god so many of you guys tech event anyway devs how many of you have met this problem where you don't want to release a product because it's not ready you know an entrepreneur will never think like that well a, a guy who was making who was thinking about money will never think like that it's like push it out push it out you know get the first product out doesn't matter if it's crap we will we'll increase it but put it out you know but guys who are doing it for the passion and i know these people personally okay we have mocked people to push their products out because they, because they wouldn't do it because he said i can still break it okay i i relate to developers here and it's a very beautiful thing right my product is not perfect i am not pushing it out yeah so all of you relate to this right so these guys are usually those perpetual betas i'm working on something it'll be out next week next week you ask maybe two more weeks yeah and then a year after i'm still working on that i think i can add more stuff to it these guys are perpetual betas okay that's not a bad thing maybe not very good for entrepreneurship and that's why i feel they're not necessarily the best entrepreneurs okay if you're passionate about something don't expect to be successful in the first place if you're going to be passionate about something success really doesn't matter yeah story number 3 so i want to show one guy who's failed and one guy i won't say failed yeah i mean he's happy at the end of it so he has this really really cool product okay you guys have, i'm not going to name him it's for him and against him at the same time but he has this really cool product that's got that that works on gestures okay it's a gesture based launcher for android okay you shake the phone up like this and the camera starts you put it down like this you know uh, messages open up cool stuff right this is really cool stuff but who's buying it will you pay money for it anyone nobody right these guys will make such cool products that nobody will buy it of them okay they're like oh that's cool why don't you buy it uh, no maybe later <laughs> you know <laughs> so that that's what they are so when i say bohemian rhapsody how many people know the context nobody queen anyone Queen, Freddie Mercury, Farooq Balsara, Freddie Mercury and Farooq Balsara are the same guys. Okay, he, Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of Queen, was a good Jew. Okay, and if you look at his performance, if if you guys haven't looked, whether you enjoy music or not, go back home, YouTube it right now. Okay, go and check out, you know, Freddie Mercury's because he loves going on stage, performing day in and day out. and coming back home and just forgetting about it this is what happens when a large population relates to your passion okay you will be extremely lucky when a very very large population relates to your passion okay you will do what you love sachin tendulkar for that matter you know as much as people criticize him i think if you take away the money from him and say i will give you 20 more years of cricket he'll do it he is a guy that is passion okay where, where you really really give, willing to give up everything just just to do what you want to do okay and there's this very interesting quote by freddy mercury which i want you guys to remember okay is that they asked him you know how would you want people to remember you after you're dead you know what he said i don't care i'm dead right what's the point i'll not know what they're talking about me i'm dead and just contrast it to the first one the ego part okay i'm not saying one is better than the other these are two different perspectives but if you think as entrepreneurs you are driven by passion remember what real passion is 
So possibilities are, like I said, great artists, musicians, people who take to theater and not, and not, and not films. Okay, they take to theater because it's art. Acquisition targets. Instagram is a is, is a debatable topic, but honestly speaking, would a real would a real hard nosed businessman looking at returns make a product like Instagram? Not really, right? But still, they got lucky. Facebook bought them for a billion dollars, and in a twelve member, you know, in a twelve member uh, team, that's that's bag loads of money. Each one of them probably has an island now. There's also a very interesting story behind Instagram, which I because I have time, I'm going to share it with you. You know how venture capitalists work, right? You know, they put in money, they make you grow, and then eventually they take back X plus something money, right? So somebody put money into Instagram two days before they got acquired. <laughs> okay, they spent no money from that, and they got, you know, that much more money just because of it. Anyway, that's completely out of topic. But just just here to say that you know these guys make great products, which other biggies would want to just buy off. Okay. And at the end of it, these are really content people. Okay, if he's an engineer who can go and play his music, there is some money he gets out of it. Doesn't need to be big and come back home and sleep. He's very happy. He doesn't want to be a billionaire. He just wants to do what he does. Whew. So that's done with passion. Move on to the next one. How many have felt that? There's an itch, man. I got to solve this. I've, I've really, really got to solve this problem, right? How many of you know this guy? Of course, it's it's a it's a group of techies. What else do you expect? So, Tesla is one of these guys, you know, who who really you don't relate to him as how you would relate to other in, other inventors under inverted commas like Albert, uh, uh, not Einstein, Edison, Thomas Alva Edison. You know the story, right? Yeah. Of course you do, <laughs> right? So you don't relate to him so much. But then the contributions that this guy has made is insane. Okay, go and read him up. I will spend a whole another one hour explaining what this guy has done. Okay, so just moving on. Some observations that these people are usually the guys who build stuff. Okay, they need to be given a product. To build, okay, I got to finish this. Give me another problem. What next? What next? What next? And they just want to build stuff. Okay, they want to solve problems, however big, however small it is, right? And they're very shy of the limelight. You will never see the guy. Okay. You know, you know the how many of you use Redbus here? Yeah. You know the guy who built uh, the recommendations part, where you rate stars, where you write comments. Do you know he's sitting with us today? Would you would you ever have heard of him otherwise? <laughs> you can catch up with him later. He's right here. <laughs> he's the guy who built something. You would never hear about these guys. Okay, they and they don't want to be heard. They want to be given their problem. They want to solve it. I'm happy. At the end of the day, and they will not stop. And that problem is mad. How many guys watch The Big Bang Theory? Great. Have you seen that episode where Sheldon goes mad about why electrons behave like they don't have mass, and he doesn't sleep for many days and all that? That is my visualization of what you know that each to solve a problem is. So, how many of you have heard of uh, Arunachala Murugandam? Because I said sanitary napkins, right? Yeah, everybody knows about this guy. So essentially, long story cut short, he makes machines that makes affordable sanitary napkins for 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 the rural people. The point that I want to bring out here is that Johnson and Johnson wants to buy him, and he's saying no. I don't want you to buy me. I'm selling this at an affordable price to people. It is giving them great benefit. Let them stay on that. Yeah, that's 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 my story. For somebody who really wants to solve a problem, okay. So the possibilities of people coming out from here are usually in the social enterprise area. You guys know what a social enterprise is, right? Does what do you understand by social enterprise? Anyone? Anyone? Okay.
ओके सॉरी समटाइम्स सो दैट दैट स्टिल नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट इज द सेम थिंग चैरिटी दिस सॉरी Okay, let me let me let me make that generic. Okay, social enterprises do make profits. They do show profits at the end of the day. They need to grow, right? These are businesses with a second bottom line. Yeah, where money is there, it is there. Okay, you cannot grow any sort of business without money. But they there is a compromise with money when it comes to another greater cause, right? So that that is a social enterprise. and and a story i don't re, i don't remember the name of the lady who does this it might sound really disgusting but i think it has to be heard there's this lady who uh, where a farmer is spending a lot of money buying artificial fertilizers this lady simply goes about and says dig a hole right under where right under your toilets bury that hole once you're done four months later open it up again you have manure and just to prove a point she opens this up takes it with her own hands and says use this in your farms don't waste your money that is a social enterprise she's making money out of it she's selling that manure because it's her idea but you know that second bottom line is what a social enterprise is another activity is that your founders are your ctos or your csa csa is chief solutions architect cto chief technology officer he wants to work in the good parts he wants to work on building the product and staying there no you know i i don't want to take the marketing i don't want to talk about you know business and all that so when the founders are are, are in these roles that's another option or my dad who's like and and i'm sure everybody here has a dad who's obsessive about getting stuff done and in my case it's about a dirty room which had to be cleaned always does everyone relate to that yes no yeah So I'm done with my four reasons, but I want to leave you with one, one, one simple question: Why do you do anything? Huh? Good one. Anything else? Huh? To do something. Okay. Anyone else? Come on. Last question, guys. Huh? that's the fourth kind man something else just just generally uh, why why do anything why why can't you just be normal static okay my this is my answer it doesn't have to be right anyone arguments to that i rest my case thanks any does anyone have any questions do you want to talk about anything No. Great. So I'm done. If you want to get in touch with me, here are my things. Thanks so much for listening to me. <laughs> yeah. me i'll give you my example okay i love my music too much i love my girlfriend too much i i'm not maniacal i want to spend time with my family and i want time for myself entrepreneurship is not going to give me that time and despite being a champion of entrepreneurs mere ko entrepreneur nahi banna anyone else Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. In fact, uh, there was a there was this recent story. In fact, it'll be out in a couple of days. Uh, it's about a company called Gen Y. If you've heard of it, they make uh, they have a platform that makes apps. Okay, like really quickly. So this guy had a job with IBM, really rich uh, family. First time guy earning anything more than a five-figure salary in his family, and he decides to leave all that and start up. His father has a brain tumor. His mother wants support. 
um, I mean, that is pressure, if you ask me, not just people telling you stuff. The guy still persisted and lived on. And, and, and that's the kind of entrepreneur I'm still working on. Is like, why, <laughs> really? Why would you do that? Right? So I guess that's probably, again, about passion. Yes, social pressures are there. They're very, very harsh. But hey, at the end of the day, if you want to do it, you're going to do it. Right? And entrepreneurship is that sort of a thing. Anyone else? That's peer pressure talking, man. That's that's peer pressure talking. Hmm. Okay, actually, let me, let me put that let me put that in a different perspective. What I meant by putting that up is that if any of the four things that we spoke about gives you happiness, you know, if satisfying your ego gives you happiness, if passion gives you happiness, if you do that, entrepreneurship is a great thing for you. Okay, whether you whether you succeed or fail, you will stick to it. Yeah, that, that's that was the point that I wanted to make, but I thought I'd leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, and, and not really, man. I will take. I gave you Ravi Guru Raj's example, right? Uh, the guy, no, no. Most of the guys are like that. They fail and fail and fail and fail and fail, and they're like, man, I want to do this again. I'm like, are you crazy? But th that that that's what is happiness, right? They they really get happiness out of it, I, and that's what I want you guys to take away from it. Anyone? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not a subject matter expert at that man. But uh, send in a mail to me. I'll connect you with a guy who'll help you. Yeah. It's still love. About something, it's still the driver is love, right? So the object, if, if the object changes, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're doing something because you love to do it. I think you need to be honest with yourself there. Uh, is, is it really love or is it just an infatuation? <laughs> so just, just think about it. If it keeps coming back, then stick to it. Get, get some results. And then whatever makes sense to you. It's such a subjective thing, right? This thing you have to, it, it, whatever works. And, and you know, the Buddha actually says this, uh, not the Buddha, uh, Dalai Lama. You ask him, hey, Dalai Lama, which, which religion is better? Hinduism, Buddhism, you know, okay, Muslim, whatever. And his answer is simple, whatever works for you. You know, <laughs> so you might like something today, something else tomorrow, something else day after. Whatever works for you, man. It's yeah, whatever it is. As long as the driver is love, right? Yeah. Everyone is selfish. Happiness itself is a very selfish thing, right? Now that that's it. At the end of the day, who's benefiting? You or me? You. That's selfish. And and selfish is not a bad thing. That's what I'm saying. It is not a bad thing. It's okay to be selfish. Whom else will you live for? Right? It's good. Actually, I don't know how many of you were in the last bar camp. I spoke, you, were you there? Uh, I, I spoke about, you know, the whole Hinduism sort of thing. It, that's another talk altogether, man. But yeah, it's, it's very philosophical. But yeah. Cool. I'm, I feel cornered now. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Oh, one more. Like I said, the first part, ego. Everyone wants to start because they want to do something on their own. Uh, I say, I told you the guys who are objective about what they want to do. And again, you have to define success, right? Success to somebody might be being able to play music every day or success to somebody might be earning a lot of money at the end of this. So define that and you'll have successes in all four categories. Do you get what I'm saying? All right, great.
Thank you so much.